Hello and welcome to our Angular 17 tutorial series. Today we are diving into the world of host listener, a powerful feature in Angular 17 that can significantly enhance your web applications. Whether you are a beginner or looking to refresh your knowledge, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. First, let's understand what host listener is. In Angular, host listener is a decorator that allows you to listen to events on the host element of your directive. This is crucial when you want to interact with your app based on user actions like clicks, mouse movements or keyboard input. Now why should you use host listener? There are several reasons. So firstly it provides a clean and concise way to handle DOM events within your Angular components or directives. This means better readability and maintainability. Secondly, it integrates the seamlessly with Angular's change detection, ensuring your app remains efficient and responsive. Now, let's explore some real-world use cases. Host listener is perfect for implementing features like drop-downs that close when clicking outside, responsive design that react to window resizing, or accessibility enhancements like keyboard navigation. Now let's jump into some code and we will create a simple directive that closes our drop down menu when clicking outside of it. Let's quickly create a directive and g generate directive and click outside. All right, the directive has been generated. Now here I will inject the element reference and then we will add the output event click outside is equal to new event emitter okay next we will add host listener document click event target and add public on click okay now we will create a property uh, a variable clicked inside is equal to this dot element ref dot native element dot contains target element so in this way we will be sure that if the click was inside of the current element now we will check if clicked inside is falsy then we will simply emit now let's uh, quickly create a dummy fake drop down menu and we will add that directive on that but before that we have to import our directive in our app component so here as i'm using standalone component so i will simply add my directive in the imports array all right now here i will add a div by assuming that that this is a drop down menu all right now uh, let me create a property here in my app component that will be responsible to display and hide this drop down and i will wrap it in the if condition and here i will add drop down visible so now we are showing this drop down based on a specific condition and now we will add a directive click outside on this element okay uh, now we also have an event accessible that we can use and click outside event will be triggered when you click outside and it will set the drop down visible to false so let's try it I'm clicking inside of this element, nothing is happening. But if I click outside of it, then you will notice that the drop down or the element has been hidden. This was one practical application, but there are others. So, for example, another practical application is with Angular Forms. So, let's create a directive that changes the appearance of a form element when it gains or loses focus. So, for that, let's quickly create another directive. For that, I will run the command ng generate highlight on focus press enter this will generate the directive that way let me add the d after g all right now let's open the directive that we just generated and in here i will add host listeners one for the focus and second one would be for for the blur i will be receiving the target on focus next i will add a style target element dot style background yellow we will add another listener actually here after focus we need to pass another parameter event dot target okay and now i will add the next host listener okay so we have registered the blur event host listener and within the on blur function i will simply reset the background color to the initial now let's quickly test it let's say i'm going to add a, an input here 
by the way let us quickly import the directive that we just created in our app component highlight focus directive now here i will add few inputs okay now i'm going to add my highlight directive like this now let's give it a try now you can see whenever i focus on this on this the styles are being applied further you can add more styles if you want to so for example maybe you would like to add some text color and a font weight font size okay so let's give it a try now you can see whenever i click on that it changes all of the styles so we have to revert those styles as well so when you blur from those inputs we should revert it back to the normal like this okay you may use also a uh, classes and style those classes to make it more easy all right to sum up host listener in angular 17 is versatile tool that lets you handle events directly in your directives and components it's a great way to make your applications interactive and responsive to user actions experiment with it in your next project thanks for watching our tutorial on host listener in angular 17 don't forget to like share and subscribe for more angular content and also please click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for my upcoming videos also please leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions i will try to answer them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time